someone said to us that, that um, someone's called the police, I said, okay, we're, we're not going to run anymore. But this is it. We're going to face this because I don't know why they're after us. You know, I told them we're taking my son out. I told them we're going for proton treatment. I told them I'm selling my house. I don't know why the police are after me. So I said, we'll stay here. You know, it doesn't matter if the police are coming. We'll stay here and we'll, we'll sort this out. But then how, they arrested me. How angry are you? I, I wouldn't say angry. I'm just missing my son so much. And I, my, my heart is aching for my son. Anger can't come in at the moment because... I've just got these feelings. I've got to see my son's face. I just want to wet his mouth because he can't drink through his mouth. I want to wet his mouth. I want to brush his teeth. I want to turn him side to side every 15, 20 minutes because he can't move. I just want to do all those things that I was doing in Southampton. I want to do it for him here. As a mother who spent so much time in hospital with him in Southampton, to be separated from him by hundreds of miles and put behind bars, can you explain what that's, what that's been like? Well, all I was just doing all the time, just crying and crying and praying so I could be re reunited with him again. And I just um, really, what, what could I do in, in the prison cell? I, I couldn't do much really. All I had to do was just cry and pray.